Finance Minister Inokotong Gwana emphasized the need for South Africa to manage its debt effectively to support inclusive economic growth during his medium-term budget policy statement earlier today. Now, he noted that the country's debt has escalated rapidly, projecting it to exceed 6.05 trillion rand, or 75.5% of GDP, by 2025 and 2026, a stock increase from 627 billion rand, or 23.6% of GDP 15 years ago. This figure surpasses the 75.3% anticipated in February. Addi additionally, Kotangwana warned that the rising debt service costs, now the largest part of government spending, are unsustainable and outpacing economic growth. Let's hear some of the key insights from the minister's speech. Madam Speaker, to achieve the goals of our fiscal strategy, we must better manage our debt. The debt has risen too fast and is too high. We are anticipating that government debt will reach more than uh, six uh, trillion or 75 percent of GDP in 25-26. We know that our debt is unsustainable because debt service costs have become the largest component of our spending and it is rising faster than economic growth. Debt service costs will reach three 388.9 billion rand in the current financial year. Put differently, this means for every one rand of revenue that government raises this year, 22 cents of this is paid in debt service cost. To deal with this problem, we have taken difficult steps to reduce the budget deficit. We have restrained spending and maintained stable tax collection. As a result of our measures, government achieved a primary budget surplus in 23-24 for the first time in 15 years. As I said earlier, the surplus is, ne is needed for us to stabilize debt. The primary surplus is not a pot of money. Rather, it is a difference between what government spends, uh, excluding debt service costs, and what government collects in revenue. Over the medium term, the main budget deficit will decline from 4.7% of GDP in 2024-25 to 3.4% in 27 28 with the primary budget surplus rising to 1.8% of GDP. The primary surplus will be sufficient for debt to stabilize at 75.5% in 25 26 Debt will then decline over the rest of this decade 